After the bloodiest battle of the entire Afghan war, 8,000 Taliban soldiers surrendered to the Northern Alliance and US Special Forces under guarantee that their lives would be spared. Today, up to 3,000 of those men lie in an unmarked desert grave, and American soldiers stand accused by numerous eyewitnesses of being involved in their disappearance. I think the scale of it, if you talk about thousands of bodies and a cover-up of those bodies, is comparable to thousands of bodies in New York. Now, that is very striking to me, and that's why I think this one will not go away. If there are credible allegations from a good number of sources, an investigation should take place. Yes, absolutely, and uh, I believe that would be the policy of uh, the government of the United States and the military services involved. Post the 11th of September, the cry has been for truth and justice and for perpetrators of international crimes to be tracked down and to be prosecuted. And you can't have a double standard where you're saying we'll go to another country and track them down imprison them, and if they're found guilty, we'll execute them in our courts. But on the other hand, if our boys are involved in it, then they can walk free and go back and live with their neighbours and their families, and in fact, we will give them total immunity. What had you seen on the film by then? excerpts from this film were shown to the European Parliament. We had received a warning from Afghanistan that the bodies of the murdered prisoners and thus the evidence might be removed. Following pressure from Brussels, the United Nations agreed to monitor the mass graves of Dashti Lili. In the middle of June, when we first revealed a small part of our story about the mass graves here at Dashti Lili, the Pentagon effectively denied that the atrocity had taken place at all. They also denied that American soldiers were anywhere near the vicinity, nor did any American personnel have any knowledge whatsoever of such a thing taking place. We can now reveal that the Pentagon was lying. 